Oh, are you finally awake? You took your sweet time, Mordal. Try not to make this a, a habit, or I'll make you regret it. Hmm. Hmm. You sure seem surprised. Do you actually not remember anything? Ah, oh, fine. But know that this incident bothers me a lot. And I tend to become unpleasant when I am annoyed. Your foolish comrades have made the mistake of thinking that my forest will make a good hunting ground. This, my poor pet, is trespassing. At least, they were fun enough when they realized that they had become my prey. But they were too frail. Really, I could not even dry one of them completely, and he started screaming like a child. He didn't last long enough for me to enjoy his blood either. That blood is not entertaining at all. Your other companion is in another cell, in case you're wondering. He isn't dead. Yet. <laughs> Do not presume you can talk back now. You still don't seem to understand why you're here. Alive. You see, it doesn't happen often, but vampires can get bored. Century after century, humans do the same things over and over and over. It happened to me too. I'm sick of being trapped in this routine. Some of you go hunting here. I kill you all and wait for more of you to come. This time, I'm going to have some fun with you. I am so, so sick of you trying to run. Don't you see the chains? It's no use. You're not going to break them. You can only let me have fun. Do what I say and all shall be well. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. This is pretty good. Maybe if uh, I just... <sighs> good. Hold still now. I like the taste of your blood when your heart is beating this fast. But do not move or you will bleed out. <laughs> Uh. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I like that. Don't worry, I know you did nothing. That is exactly what I wanted you to do, and that's what is going to happen from now on. You, mortal, must now face the truth. Your free will, the delusion you humans have invented to pretend you have control over your lives, it's never been through. And now you must leave that useless fantasy behind. Surrender to me, your new mistress. You should be glad. Most people never get to know whose orders they've been following their entire lives. But you're facing the one who decides your fate. Oh, really? Resistance. That is so... so... sad. I had hoped I would not need to use violence to convince you, 
But it seems you must bother me just that much. Pay the price of your rebellion, scum. <laughs> Stop screaming, you are not a little baby. You've been acting like a thaw grown up who's not scared of the bad, bad vampire. Until now. I order you to be what you've been pretending to be. Do not scream. Do not cry either. Ugh. You're wasting the water in your body. Now, stand up. I said, stand up. It's just an arm. Your legs are fine. Now, tell me. Does it hurt? How much? Describe me your pain. Hmm. And then? Good, 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 good. Do you know what this sensation is? It's the sense of guilt you get from disobeying your mistress. Following my orders equals rewards. Not doing what I want brings you pain. Let's try again now, human. Kneel. Bow to me. Lower. Your head must be lower than my hips when you bow. Good. Now, repeat after me. I am your servant. I will always be loyal. I will follow your orders now and forever. My mistress is just. Her commands must be obeyed. I will not try to escape and will accept what she wants me to do. That's it. You can sit down now. Let me take a look. No, I'm not going to break it. I already did that, remember? And even if I wanted to, you must always obey my orders. Good. Hmm. I see. It's not that bad. I can help you heal a little bit faster. It's going to take some drops of my blood. I will inject it into you. But do not presume this will happen every time you get hurt. I just don't want you to constantly complain about your stupid arm for weeks until it heals. So, stand very still now. Hmm, that face seems uh, far too pleased. Did you forget the pain already? I must have given you more than a head too. Uh, I can never be satisfied. I just can't help it. Whenever I sink my fangs into someone's flesh, the sensation of the bite is so good. I never want to stop, even if I'm giving my own blood. Did I ask your opinion? Exactly. I didn't do it because I wanted to make you feel good. I already told you it's just so you can heal faster and not bother me with complaints about how much your poor arm hurts. Don't touch it. Leave it still there. Lay down. Relax. I want you to clear your mind and think of something good. No, not those things. I said something good. Oh, you're so thick-headed. I doubt you will make a good slave. I mean me. You must think about serving me. That is your new pleasure and the way you're going to spend your life from now on. Think of what could make me feel good. 
think of how rewarding the experience will be for you. And while you're busy thinking, I will have my fun. <laughs> This was a pleasing experience. You will make a decent slave, perhaps, when you learn a discipline. No, it's not an if. It will happen. You will submit to me, whether you like it or not. I'm not afraid of breaking something else to persuade you. And the next time, I may not be so gracious. Be ready. I will take care of that fool in the other cell now. Rest and focus. I will be back. 